What we're doing here is we are drilling a new well. This ranch's well has uh, served its purpose. It's 60 years old and it's worn out and we're having to drill a new well. This is a well drilling rig. This is called a reverse rotary. What happens here is the cutting bit at the bottom of that shaft has a, uh, a water feed. And as the bit cuts, the material that it's cutting is pumped up through the hollow shaft and it goes into that shaking hose you see and is discharged into a pond. This well is going to be approximately a thousand feet deep and the uh, final casing diameter is going to be 16 inches and we hope to get somewhere right around 2,000 gallons a minute. There's the material being discharged from the drilling. Each little clump of dirt is a sample of soil every 10 feet that they've drilled. They take these soil samples so when they pass through a layer they are looking for a specific type of soil and a specific thickness so they're looking for the good stratas of water. The good stratas of water are in the sandier layers of soil. If you can imagine the, uh, the valley being like a, uh, a layer of a cake, every so many feet there's a different layer. Over the eons, uh, Mother Nature has deposited inches or feet of different sediment materials and water is trapped within those materials and that's what we're doing. We're going to look for the, the best strata to extract the water from. When drilling a well like this, they don't stop at 5 o'clock. This is a 24 hour process. The second shift comes on around 6 o'clock and we'll continue drilling this hole all through the night and into the next day. Uh, currently this is day two of drilling and we haven't met our thousand foot depth yet. Uh, if lucky, but before dark, they'll hit that thousand feet. And what they do here is they start out with a smaller pilot hole. They've got a 17 inch boring bit on right now, and then they'll switch to a larger 28 inch bit, and that'll allow for a 16 inch steel casing to be installed. They have to use a smaller pilot hole because drilling a well a thousand feet deep uh, puts a lot of strain on such a large bit and there's a chance that that bit might hit a hard spot and may veer one way or the other so it's very important to have a straight hole so by doing a pilot hole you're you're assured a much straighter hole and your well will be much more productive and you'll have a much longer life well they just completed a 30 foot section of pipe and they're getting ready to add on another 30 feet goes there there's another section of pipe ready to be threaded to the other one well they're back in business the new sections installed and they're drilling once this pilot hole is complete they're gonna switch to the 28 inch bit that'll be the final size of the hole and that will accommodate the 16 inch well casing it'll take them at least two days to redrill that same thousand feet with a larger bit and after that it'll take them a day more or less to install the casing and what we're going to do here this will be a gravel pack well so on the bottom part of the well that gap around the casing will be surrounded by a, a particular size gravel and that'll keep the soil away from the casing and just allow water only to uh, infiltrate the casing here in Kern County they require sanitary seals and the seal will be a, a concrete type of material and it'll be between two and three hundred feet down around that casing. That way any undesirable uh, water aquifers will be sealed off and no contaminations can get down around the casing into the lower aquifers also. And we're expecting this new well to yield around 2,000 gallons a minute.